All right, so we got Modern Warfare 3 is coming. Let's to video. Now, listen. I'm excited. I've got the heads off snakes. He's not moved. He's not moved. He's not moved. Captain Price. Never bury your enemies alive. Was that Makarov? Was that Makarov? November 10th. Okay, that's fine. I, well, obviously, like I said, I knew it was coming out in November. But wait a minute. Whose face was this? Whose face was this? I think this is Makarov's face. Hold up. Yeah, that's Makarov. That's literally Makarov. Yeah, that's Makarov. Let's go. Now, listen. That's all. Listen, this diabolical demon. First of all, I hope hopefully we get to kill him. That's number one. Number two. <laughs> number two. Listen, bro. Modern Warfare Three. The original Modern Warfare Three is my favorite Call of Duty ever of all time. That that, that has like the most hours I've ever put in in my life. Literally, I think how old was I? I was young, bro. Literally, like taking no showers, uh, days upon days upon days. Absolutely no life sweat. So it was actually uh pretty good to find out that you know. That's actually, you know, that is actually coming out because uh, a lot of people were saying, especially whenever Modern Warfare 2 first came out, it was like, oh, bro, Modern Warfare 3 coming out um, uh, 2025. I'm like, 2025? They're skipping a year, right? What's, you know, which isn't a bad thing for Call of Duty, but at the same time, you know, it was Modern Warfare 3, you know, and it's, it's my favorite Call of Duty. So I didn't want them to skip a year, and I'm glad they didn't skip a year because uh, I'm excited for the story mode, um, the multiplayer, and whatever. I mean, it's cool or whatever, but I'll be real, bro. The past, I'll probably say the past two Call of Duties, I was more focused on to the, uh, into the story mode. So, yeah, it's, it's about time. We got the boy Makarov. He about to go stupid. Um, let me just say this. They wouldn't dare do a whole, like, no Russian remaster nowadays. They wouldn't dare do that. Because I feel like a lot of people are going to, oh, my God. How could I can't believe Call of Duty just just made a mission where a guy just shoots up hundreds of, hundreds of people and take all those lives. Call of Duty should be canceled. You know, listen, I listen. I mean, listen. If they do it and they prove me wrong, Call of Duty, I will love you. I will love you. I mean, Call of Duty, I already love you. But at the end of the day, let's keep it real. You aren't as Call of Duty isn't as um, what's the word? Call of Duty isn't as um. They aren't as, what's the word? They aren't as, like, free as they was back then. As they Like, back then, bro, they can put anything in the game, any type of mission in the game. Like, the mission can be absolutely brutal, okay? And they can put it in the game. These days, bro, if Call of Duty, not even Call of Duty, but if any gaming company, if any, if any game has, like, a questionable type of scene, whatever, people are going to, like, go erupt and people are going to, like, try to start riots and stuff like that over a video game um i mean just like like whenever uh the no russian mission happened right for uh for modern warfare 2 brother that was on the news i don't know if you guys know that but bro that was literally on the news bro so like looking at like what modern warfare 3 is modern warfare 3 uh story mode was amazing i loved it um and looking at uh, uh just like how it was i don't think they're gonna really um cross that line if that makes sense i don't think they're gonna cross the line but at the same time i feel like the story mode is gonna be really good call of duty has always did a, a good job on the story mode and so um hopefully um hopefully they do cross the line hopefully they do do something really uh you know they, they put a brutal mission here hopefully you know they spice things up you know that's what i want in like the story mode um hopefully you know they put some cancelable thing <laughs> i know it sounds like i want to get call of duty canceled bro but that's but that's what it, it, it listen I'd rather Call of Duty put something out, right, that everybody loves, even though it was, like, really messed up or whatever, and, and like, you know, but at the same time, when Call of Duty, like, crosses the line, it's a good thing, right? No one's going to take down Call of Duty besides Call of Duty. Call of Duty can only kill itself, you know, if that makes sense. Um, I really don't care what the Twitter fat idiots have to say. I'm going to be real. I'm sorry. I don't care. Um, you know, obviously, those Twitter fingers are going to say, sorry, not Twitter fingers, the, uh, the X fingers are going to say anything um and, and critique anything and whatever who cares um hopefully call of duty can actually push the line on this one and um make this campaign 
you know, uh, really brutal and really um, just jaw dropping. Hopefully they can do that. Um, because let's be real nowadays, man, like I said before, you can't really do that, you know, or, or people are going to start talking and people want to have uh, people want to make a petition to take down random things like this generation is, is just very soft when they want to be. I'm just being real. You know, I love how this generation preaches, oh, we don't care about anything, blah, 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 right? And I'm, I'm born in this generation, and I, I can say this. I love how this generation can say, oh, well, we don't care about anything, you know, we, we don't have no rules, you know, you get to do whatever you want, be whoever you want, this and this and that, play whatever you want, right? You get to do whatever you want, but as soon as you do whatever you want, or play whatever you want, or be whoever you want, then it's a problem, you know, then it's a, you know... They, they give you the they give you the okay until you actually make, you know take action and then they want to stop you that that's what I think that's the whole point about this generation if I'm being real you know but maybe that's just me maybe I'm just rambling on I think I am but I'm really excited for this November 10th um and again I'm really excited for the um the campaign so comment down below what are you guys excited for for Modern Warfare 3 um I, I, I was hoping a trailer would come through like I was expecting the trailer to come through in like June or July, same the around the same time uh, the Modern Warfare 2 trailer came through, but it is what it is, it's fine, um, but yeah man, I'm really excited for the story, but look at this man Makarov looking like a diabolical demon, uh, I'll see you guys later for the next time I'm out, and...